food chain is celebrating 10 years of bridging the gap between the Lexington community and fresh food. The organization's mission is simple, address food insecurity here in the heart of the bluegrass. And during the past decade, they've reached thousands of people and they're ready to keep the momentum rolling. To be able to have uh, made it this first decade um, to look back and, and just just to see the impact that we've been fortunate um, to enable. I think the fact that we, you know, we have this vantage point um, of, of seeing how many um, folks that we've been able to serve, how much we've been able to increase access, how much education we've been able to provide, um, hopefully how we've been able to change people's perspectives and understanding of how they can in, in personally connect with fresh food. And then having this transition, celebrating um, these achievements and looking towards the future and all of the promise uh, around the corner. You mentioned the transition. You are passing the torch to Shaquinta, who is taking over as executive director. And Shaquinta, how did you get involved with Food Chain? What does this organization mean to you? So I actually uh, helped with the Farm to School program that was started 10 years ago as a 4-H agent here in Bay County. And so, um, and I was also on the advisory council as well. So I was helping to do as much as I could from a, a youth development standpoint. And I was always fascinated with food chain. I thought what they, the work that they were doing, the um, hydroponics, environmental education, I thought all of those aspects were, were pretty cool. I just didn't know how to make those connections. And so here it is, you know, 2021, <laughs> and the position opened and I, I took a shot in the dark and here I am. So I'm super excited um, to be able to, to be a part of something that I've always been passionate about, like I said, youth education, working with families, community, uh, and being able to, to just have a, a different adventure for, because I love anything new. And so this is, this is awesome to be a part of that. And also the, just the environment, uh, the work experience and, and, and the people that are truly passionate about what they do. It's been tremendous since starting, which was Monday. <laughs> um, and it, it's great, and, and I know that there's nothing but great things on the horizon, so super excited to be in, in this new role. Becca, Food Chain helps the community in so many different ways. So what are the ways that the community, the viewers watching this segment, what can they do to help Food Chain? So there's hopefully numerous ways in which folks can plug in and become links in Food Chain. Um, from a volunteer standpoint, in our efforts to try to nourish the community as part of Nourish Lexington, we've been distributing meals um, uh, since, actually since the start of the pandemic, we were doing them before in-house um, as community meals, but uh, with the pandemic, we've had to pivot in order to either hand those meals out or actually deliver them straight to, to doorsteps. And we've now, we're almost at a half million uh, meal mark of, of fresh lo locally sourced meals that we've been able to distribute as part of that. So your viewers, uh, we'd love to have them get connected with us in helping to deliver those meals directly to those doorsteps, like I mentioned, um, to help connect us with other uh, providers or other uh, suppliers of food. There's just lots of different ways of plugging in with that program. Um, we've had some uh, work groups that have come and actually helped volunteer in, in processing food that ultimately goes into those meals. Um, and same thing on our farm. So we, in addition to our kitchen, we have our indoor aquaponics farm, and there's all kinds of ways in which folks, ways which people have been able to volunteer on our farm. Uh, we've hosted dozens of internships over the years. Um, so there's there's lots of different ways and there's a volunteer slot um, on our website, which is at foodchainlex.org where folks can learn about all the different areas. Um, and then of course, uh, tis the season as any nonprofit at this time of year, uh, it takes dollars um, of course to, to make this operation work, um, both to purchase those ingredients, um, to feed those fish um, and to pay for the expertise that are needed in order to actually implement those programs. So. Um, uh, we, we like to think we're an incredibly responsible uh, entity with those dollars. We're really fortunate to have lots of different revenue streams through grants, through foundations, um, but we also really rely on individual support um, for those funds. So hopefully um, your viewers will find our work um, impactful and um, something they want to get a part of. So we would uh, be really grateful for those, those financial do donations as well.